प्लीज गेट रेडी फॉर ए डिक्टेशन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन एंड टू फ्रॉम सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन इशू ऑफ प्रोग्रेसिव मैगजीन फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट आवर जनरल व्यू इज इन रिगार्ड टू वेस्ट एशिया हैज बीन फ्रीक्वेंटली स्टेटेड आवर अप्रोच इज नॉट इनिमिकल to any country there it is friendly to all countries but inevitably our sympathies are with the arab countries and with arab nationalism which represents today the urge of the people also according to our general policy as well as our views on the present situation in west asia we do not accept that foreign troops should be used in any territory in the area in the circumstances prevailing there we are convinced that there can be no settlement and no return to normality till foreign troops are removed from the area sometimes it is stated that these countries should be treated like tender infants and be under the guardianship of bigger countries but it is quite clear that they do not like this offer of guardianship and patronage and in fact recent such suggestions one has to take to some extent a historical view of the developments in west asia for hundreds of years these countries in west asia were under turkish domination they came out of it the end of the first world war the western powers decided what they liked about these countries without really caring much for the wishes of the people probably there was no organized way for the people to express their view new nations were created and the contacts of the western powers were with the rulers of their own creation or chiefly with the landed gentry there were few contacts with the people the whole period between the two world wars was one when arab nationalism was trying to push out this this foreign domination and was gradually making some progress in that direction then came the war and the post war period when much has happened in the various countries of middle east the major fact in west asia is the growth of arab nationalism in a very powerful resurgent way Egypt took the lead in this matter and under the wise leadership of president Nasser has played a very important part Nasser in fact became the most prominent symbol of Arab nationalism this fact which was patent was neither liked nor appreciated by many powers and an attempt was made to split the arab countries in fact arab nationalism this should not be allowed to happen in the interest of global peace the house may remember the talk about building up the northern tier defense 
and about the Baghdad pact the motives were supposed to be to protect these countries from attack of invasion from the Soviet Union and to give them security and peace as a matter of fact the result was quite the contrary the troubles of these countries only increased because of such an approach the arab countries at any rate the governments were divided some in the baghdad pact and some outside it while the government carried on a cold war against each other the people almost in every arab country were powerfully affected by this side of arab nationalism thus in the countries associated with the baghdad pact there was a gap between the government and the people the looking more and more towards arab nationalism and the government looking in another direction and rather ranged against the spirit of arab nationalism i believe it surprised even the people in iraq and egypt the surprise was not essentially that it took place but the speed with which it took place and the complete success which attended it it showed how utterly divorced from public opinion the government of iraq was when the change came it brought tremendous relief all over iraq and the people flocked to the side of the new government so this attempt at not recognizing the spirit of arab nationalism even trying to come in its way and obstructing it really achieved the opposite effect it encouraged nationalism as such an approach will inevitably do this has resulted in the arab nations coming nearer to one another and will no doubt bring about a great deal of cooperation between them it was said that some kind of an arab empire was being built up which was dangerous i do not know about the future but i see no empire much less an arab empire the theory of the vacuum is sometimes advanced as if the removal of the influence of some great powers must necessarily necessarily be filled in by some other powers it is an extraordinary appraisal of the situation which does not recognize the effect of arab nationalism which has become such a document dominant force we are convinced that any of the problems of west asia must be based on the recognition of the dominant urge and force of arab nationalism any settlement must have the goodwill cooperation of the arab nations the need of the european countries for oil is patent 
but there should be no difficulty in arriving at a friendly arrangement which ensures the supply of oil stock